Do you get overwhelmed by your head chatter or your monkey mind? Well, depending on who you talk to, the research that you look at, we may have 60,000 or 200,000 thoughts a day. And it's been said that 98% of those are the same thoughts that we had yesterday. We just go through the same loops over and over again. What's really interesting is that the bulk of those thoughts aren't yours, or not just thoughts, feelings, stresses. It's not yours. It's stuff you've picked up from others around you. And the good news is there's a really simple way to let those go. If you're a parent, you may have had the experience where you're working with your child and all of a sudden it's like your parents are speaking through you. you you're saying the things that they said that you recoiled against and they're just channeling through you. And what happens is we get these things conditioned into ourselves. We get thoughts and a lot of us are very empathic. We pick up feelings from others and so on and so forth. And we carry them a long time. They're not even ours. And we're not helping the people that we've taken them on from. It doesn't help them to do that because everyone's got to work through their own stuff. So what do you do? Well, one of the modalities that I've been trained in is something called access consciousness. And one of the things I like about access is there's a lot of really, really simple tools to help you uh, deal with stuff like this. And one of the simple tools for this is you just, when you get a thought that goes through your head or a feeling that you've got, I just go inside and I ask myself, who does this belong to? And what happens is if you get a sense of lightness where it, it lights up, and for some people the thought just completely clears, the feeling clears, what it means is it's not even yours. And if you get a sense of heaviness, which doesn't happen often, then it's yours and you may need to do some work with it. Okay? So, what do, you, what do you do once you know it's not yours? Well, here's where it gets even simpler. There's a, a simple line in Access. Once you know something's not yours, all you do, your unconscious mind is like a five-year-old kid. Okay? It, it works in very simple ways. And it doesn't take a lot to, to deal with things like this. All you do, once you get that sense of, you ask, you know, who does this belong to? And you get that sense of, it lightens up that it's not yours, you just say, return to sender. And it's like, whoosh, it can just go away. And it's, it can, does it sound a little too good to be true? Try it out. The, in fact, there's, there's, a, there's a program that the Access people suggest is you take this and you do it for three days with every single thought. Uh, every single feeling that comes up, every single stressor that comes up, you just ask, who does this belong to? And if you get a sense of lightness, you just say, return to sender. Now, you're not going to be able to say it for a, and remember it for three days. You'll do it for bits and so on and so forth, and it'll do it longer and longer. But they say that, and I found this, that after three days, all of a sudden, oh my gosh, you start getting this space in your mind where it's just all this stuff just isn't there and you can breathe and you go through life much more uh, present, mindful and even meditatively but you're, you're fully aware, you're fully there without all this clutter going on. What I'd suggest, I know it sounds a little wacko, it sounds simple but try it out. You know, be scientific about it, test it, try it out and see if it works. And the neat thing about this is like a lot of things in society today, there's an app for that. And the Access people have developed uh, an app to help you. What it does is it sends you a tone irregularly through the day. So when you've forgotten, you hear the tone, you go, okay, right. So whatever's going on in your head, who does this belong to? Okay, is it light? Return to sender. Is it light? Return to sender. And so on. And 
it just helps bring this back it and it and it does this for three days but you you have to remember to you know put it on um, snooze at night and then during any meetings where it would be disruptive but it's an uh, it's an amazing asset and it even helps you deal with those things that are that you find that are heavy it takes you through some stuff on that try this out see how it works for you and you may just discover that that head chatter it's not part of you after all